Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Today we're going to be looking at the Microfleet Warthog Attack. There are two versions of this set. There is an older one that has um, one of the older figures, but this is the new version and it has the super articulated version of Master Chief. That is the whole reason I bought this set, was for Chief. Um, I've been hunting him since I started collecting Mega Constructs, and finally I have him. Um, to quote that guy, Pelican Pilot guy from Halo Infinite. Yes! 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 Yeah, so, this is sealed. Um, I got it from eBay for a pretty good price, and... Yeah, so let's let's get it open. One interesting thing about the box is that the other sets displayed actually still have the old figures, even though all of these sets did get updated versions with the updated figures. So I guess this must have been the first of the updated sets. All right, here we go. Looks so like there's some tape here, here, some on the edge. Golly, this thing just has tape everywhere. All right, I think that's all of it. And then this part kind of pops up. Ah, okay. So here is a bag of parts. Um, another bag of parts. Oh, and there is Chief. Oh, wow, his color is actually a lot dimmer than they showed on the website, and that's actually a very good thing. Um, we've got instructions, and then this is the um, storage helmet. It's like a little box. So that comes out. That's just blue. And, okay, I'm going to have to cut some more stuff. They really got this sealed up in there. So that comes off. Okay. Oh, now I just have to take care of this. Ah. I think they could make this a little easier, especially if they were wanting, you know, kids to be able to open this without using a chainsaw. Close up my knife real quick. That's actually really cool looking. Um, I didn't I didn't buy this set for the storage helmet, but that's actually really cool looking. All right, so let me um, finish getting this off. All right, so we got the rest of the string off of this. I'll show you how this works in a little bit. For now, let's get these open. Um, these bags are actually a lot more soft and pliable than the ones from the other sets that I've gotten. Um, this is an older set, so I guess they've changed their packaging. And once again, this is really hard to open. I mean, I guess it's good that it's not easy for people to steal stuff from it. Make sure I got all the pieces out. Okay. Okay. Those are cool little tires. Uh, oh, this one actually seems to have a top. Not really? Oh, uh, no, that didn't open. I thought it was gonna be like a little Ziploc almost. But, oh, it's sort of open. This is all the small pieces. And Chief's weapon, a rail gun. A little strange. Chief usually uses an assault rifle, but, you know, some variety is good. Uh, pieces just went everywhere. Hopefully I got them all. And then Chief himself is in this bag, which is a very easy to open one. Hmm. Looks like I'm going to be giving customer service, uh... A call. Chief is missing one of his leg armors. Um, that's unfortunate. 
that's that's very unfortunate actually um yeah i'll take a closer look at him in a little bit but you know keep in mind this is going to be with a missing um leg piece so let me sort out these pieces and then we can um, build this and see what the little warthog looks like pieces are all sorted out um, instructions pretty pretty typical instructions for a smaller set it's basically just a big sheet um, so let's speed this up and get this little warthog built All right, so let's take a quick look at Chief. Um, you saw his railgun before. It's a pretty nice uh, piece. I think they could have used some print on the this kind of like spot that's supposed to be hollow where the bullet would come out. Uh, but it's pretty easy to just take a, a fine tip Sharpie and draw a little dark area in there. I still think an assault rifle would have been better, but you know. Whatever. Um, and aside from the missing uh, leg armor, this guy looks great. He's pretty much perfect. Um, his visor has a pretty good amount of gold on it. Um, I think maybe a gray or black outline around it would have been preferable, but as is, it looks pretty good. Um, there's even a little bit of like uh, contour lines on there. His color is pretty nice. I think it's a little um, dull, but I'm planning on doing some weathering and a little bit of silver dry brushing on um, on this guy. So that doesn't uh, matter too much to me. Um, he can do a T-pose. His armor doesn't limit his movement at all, which is great. Um, and yeah, it's this is a great figure. Um, I'm really happy to have gotten it. I'm just going to have to give customer service a call and make sure that they um, can replace. Um, probably they're going to have to replace the whole figure because they don't actually replace separate parts. Um, but yeah, overall, a really good figure and definitely worth buying this set just for this little guy. Alright, so now let's take a look at the Warthog for which this set is named. I think it looks really nice, actually. Um, it's better than I was expecting at first. Um, actually, this probably would be a rocket hog because these seem to be rocket launchers. But yeah, you can drive it around. There's no suspension, obviously, but making suspension for something this size would be nearly impossible. All the important details are here, though. You've got the 
winch here. They even got the little like crossbar between um, the rear window and the front window. And if you want, you can rotate this around, though it does pop off pretty easily. Um, my only complaint about this is that you kind of can tell that this is older pieces because they don't stay together quite as well as some of the newer ones do. But yeah, overall, this is a really nice really nice build, uh, good for display, and it's good for play because this thing rolls really nicely. The second build is this little piece of Forerunner structure that actually fits onto the back of the Spartan helmet um, container. This is the back of that, and it's kind of layered to look like terrain. Um, this can come off if you want, but it doesn't come off all as one nice unit. So when you're putting this back on the this piece back on the helmet, you're going to have to remove this um, just because it would be weird to have this sticking out. Um, but yeah, this is a nice uh, little bonus. It's that's basically what it is, just to add a few more pieces. That orange piece in the center there is pretty nice. And if you don't feel like keeping this built, there's quite a few nice pieces on there. Last but not least, we have the storage container helmet itself. And obviously this is supposed to be Chief's helmet since this comes with Chief and it's green. Um, the visor looks really cool. It's super shiny. You might even be able to see the camera and me on it. Uh, there's a little bit of extra shine down here on some vents. And yeah, overall the, the design of it's really nice. And then when you turn it around, there's that studded piece. Um, there's also some anti-studs on the bottom. But then you push on this tab, and it pops open. And you can see the gold visor inside. And then you can, you know, just see if we can fit this in here without dismantling anything. You just have to line up a few um, uh, like clip things. There's like a piece that goes there. and. Ta-da! It fits. No pieces had to be removed at all. So this is really useful. It's really cool, and it even if you don't want to use it as a display container, um, it just looks it just looks really nice. Like I almost want to be able to wear this. So there you have it. That is the Micro Fleet Warthog Attack. Now we have the big question: Is it worth it? For me, yes, it was worth it. I was able to find this for $17 on eBay sealed, and it had Chief. I mean, there is the issue with Chief missing a piece, but Mega Constructs customer service will replace that. So for me, it was definitely worth it. Um, this averages at around 20 to 25 I think Amazon has it for like 24 37 or some weird price like that. And I definitely can recommend it, but I have two things to say. First... Make sure that getting this version of Chief is worth it to you. Don't pay a whole ton just to get him just because. If you really want him, then I'd say paying $25 for this is okay. But if you're just like, oh yeah, maybe I want a Master Chief, then maybe go look at the Halo Heroes line. You can probably find one a little bit cheaper. Second, um, you need to make sure you know which one you're getting. Because like I said, there is two versions of this. There's one with the old figure and then there's the one with the new super articulated figures. And it will say it on the box. If you see the box says this, the new super posable, then you know that it's the one with the super articulated uh, chief. However, on Amazon, they will show both and you won't really know what you're getting. So I would say look somewhere other than Amazon. Look on eBay um, places like that so that you don't accidentally um, get the wrong chief and after spending like 30 bucks for it. So that's all I have to say about this set. I, I'm personally really happy with it because I'm finally able to get chief without going bankrupt. Um, yeah, I, I definitely recommend it. Just don't pay too much for it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.